And then all of a sudden, boom, right there, he hit that car. Like the, I don't know which one hit the fire hydrant. Thanks for joining us. We begin with breaking news at this hour. Right now, we have a crew on the scene of a crash that began as a police pursuit on Fort Wayne's southeast side. 20 on Alive reporter Taylor Williams joins us now live from the intersection of Hannah and Petite. Taylor, or earlier you described the scene as chaotic. What can you tell us now? Well, well, the scene has changed a lot over the past hour I've been here. It's less chaotic, but when I first arrived, there were dozens of police, U.S. Marshals, and people trying to figure out exactly what was happening. And I'm going to go ahead and step out of the way because currently there is a crew taking away one of the vehicles. Now, this is the intersection where everything ended. Police say it all started, though, on Pontiac and Lafayette Street when an officer tried to pull over a car for a traffic stop. Police say that car was attached to a warrant. But instead of stopping, the car took off. The pursuit lasted roughly 10 minutes throughout the southeast side of Fort Wayne before it ended at the intersection of Petta and Hanna. Police say that's when the vehicle hit an oncoming motorist and crashed into the hydrant. He was driving that one, and the other guy, the poor innocent bystander, was driving that one, and they collided, and one of them hit the fire hydrant, but I know he hit that guy. So, but it was the loudest sound you've ever heard. It was just like, boom! Police have confirmed that three men were taken into custody. All three men had warrants, two of which were from out of state. They were taken to a local ho hospital, handcuffed to be evaluated with non-life-threatening injuries. The adult male in the other vehicle was also taken to a local hospital. He also has non-life-threatening injuries. Police say the intersection is going to be closed for the next 30 minutes or so while they work to cut off the water and clean up the scene. And they have not released exactly what those warrants for those three men we're for, and we will bring you that the very latest live on our website. Live, Wayne Taylor Williams, 21 Alive News. All right, thank you so much. We will continue to update you as we learn more.